I'm Chris, this is Dan, we are part of the Mix96 news team. Um, we're going to look at the future of Els, we're going to try and explain what's happening with Buckinghamshire's councils. And because we're looking at the future, we've come to one of the oldest parts of Buckinghamshire. This church has seen a lot of change, but I see some change to come. We're going to try and figure out exactly what that change is and how it's going to affect you. So, once upon a time there were five councils for Buckinghamshire. One county council, it's nice and windy and four district councils, Wickham, AVDC, and of course, South Bucks Council, and Chiltern District Council. They already kind of do things together. So after years and years of government funding cuts, what they all agreed on was this is too expensive. They've got five lots of buildings, five chief execs, five HR departments and things. So pretty much what they all agree on is that you should have one council wherever you live, but how to split the county. Well obviously they all sat down, all five councils, in a room together and had a sensible chat about what's best for everyone involved. Except not. They didn't. So the county council had an idea. They would look at what having just one council for the whole of Buckinghamshire would look like and they invited the four district councils to come by and help. Only the district council leader said, no thanks, we'd rather see what happens if we go on our own. And so we ended up with two independent reports telling us two very different things. Here's what they said. Well, the county councils once said having one council running everything across Buckinghamshire would be the best option. Kind of a bit like how they are now. But the district councils one reckons having two or three splitting the county up would be better for us all. Sort of a bit like how they are now. Yeah, pretty much. Here's what David Liddington, Aylesbury MP, told us. To my mind, there are three key principles. First is value for money. Second, what's going to be the formation of councils that provides the best quality of service? And third, local identity. So, what now? Well, one report's been sent to the government, the other one hasn't, but it will be down to the government to make the final decision. We'll of course keep you up to date on it all.